Good morning everyone, today in this video we will fight against the Adma's character of our world around us as we always do on this channel today this new old, old new scenery and in this movie I would like to uh, refer to one important issue we all know that text, words have important meaning, the most important some people say, I would always say in some situations that pen, nowadays keyboard, is more powerful than the weapon in some situations. It's true, especially uh, when one analyzes the situation on the time scale of history and meaning. Uh, it, uh, and when one analyzes the transfer of information, it's true, it's true, it's true. But uh, mm, I, myself, as an uh, admirer and fan of military history, as the uh, listeners to my channel already know, uh, have to tell you that I really appreciate very nicely done illustrations. Because, uh, yeah, yeah, some people say that one illustration is more than 1000 words. This is sometimes true, but very often one illustration is more than several thousands of words if it's done properly. This applies to science, this applies to history, this applies to all disciplines of knowledge created by humans. In terms of military history, now I'm a happy owner of increasing collection of the volumes uh, of uh, book, series of book, books entitled The Military History of the Late Roman Empire by Mr. Ilka Sivone. Guy comes from Finland, but he was affiliated for some years with the Haifa University in Israel uh, uh, on the classical department uh, of the Department of classi Classics. Uh, and he writes nicely about the military history of Rome, is not afraid of, uh, of uh, giving very controversial hypotheses, but he also uh, makes on his own very informative and uh, simple at the same time, which is important, drawings that help uh, the readers visualize the aspects, numerous aspects of the uh, ancient military history, in this case late Roman military history and barbaric, that are actually not accessible or, in in, bet in better case, not easily accessible in other uh, older works dealing with these very important topics. That's why uh, pictures are very important and they have to be done pro properly. The same I can say, uh, I really like illustrations despite the fact that they are not so numerous and they are uh, much more, I would say, dry than in academic uh, style. Illustrations in the book of Adrian Goldsworthy, especially his book on the Roman army, uh, from 100 BC to uh, from 200 BC to 100 AD, which was actually his PhD thesis defended on the Oxford University in 1996. This I really like, and these pictures allow us to understand many aspects. There are also a few other authors. Some of them deceased already, unfortunately. I I really admire who are military historians who, who were also. Uh, great painters like Polish historian who was uh, dealing with the history of military history of Slavic nations and especially he was focusing on their contacts with the steppe nation. Uh, I mean Andrzej Michałek. But uh, okay, luckily there are some historians who really know that not only text, not only word, which which are very powerful and persuasive, but also picture. And at the end. I have to mention, also deceased recently in 2014, one of the greatest repre represent, uh, one of the greatest representatives of historical illustrators and also historians in at the same time, Peter Connolly. All uh, our admirers and fans of classical ancient history know his books, especially Greece and Rome at War. It's really hard to find something better and I think and I think 
for generations to come this will be the best position also his other publications are more than perfect that is why i also appreciate uh, yeah they are not equally good but i also appreciate osprey series that are a small brochure publication uh, equipped with uh, very good illustrations that allow especially younger readers to sense the uh, beauty and sorrows and all uh, positiveness and negativeness, ups and downs of the greatest period in human history that was classical antiquity plus ancient Chinese antiquity and Indian antiquity and Mesopotamian antiquity. Antiquity in general, the most uh, marvelous, the most fabulous and the best period in human history as of now. Take care. All, all the best. Have a nice day.